And then I'm just gonna go around and do a lap of the Outer Banks, hitting up all the local bookstores. Uh, we have a release date for Penance. I am so excited to finally be able to say that. You don't even know. <laughs> Here we go. I'm Brandy Ainge, an author living on the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Recently, I quit my day job to write full time and share my love of all things bookish here on YouTube. Welcome to my journey. Welcome to another video. This week's video is a day in the life. As you can see, I'm in yet another house, which also is not mine. I am pet sitting again. Um, yeah, so, so far this morning, as you saw, I've had my coffee and my study time, um, studying book marketing. This morning I was reading about Kobo, which I was extremely unfamiliar with, so that was good. And just taking taking some notes and you know really trying to commit it to memory um, that's what I do every morning I wake up usually uh, usually I'm at it by 6 6 30 um, drinking my coffee and studying this morning was a little bit of a later start I think it was like 7 7 30 before I made coffee and was reading so um, yeah there is some wiggle room for flexibility there but I do try to try to start early. Um, so next on my to-do list today is um, I try to basically give the best of my brain to my books. That was a lot of bees. That wasn't planned. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I am going to be doing either writing or editing or in today's case, um, making revisions. Um, I've got round one of my editing Round two is in the works, and then once I'm done making all those revisions, I will send it off for round three, make those make those revisions, and then it's gonna be ready for copywriting and um, sending it out for review and interior file formatting. So that's coming up soon. Um, excited about it. Um, yeah, so this morning it's really nice outside, so I figured I would get some I'm not getting vitamin D because I'm like completely covered because it is a little bit chilly, but it's beautiful. So sitting outside, I'm gonna make all the corrections from my editor and then, um, yeah, I've got a really busy afternoon planned. So I'm gonna try to relax and just enjoy sitting outside for a little while while I can, while giving the best of my brain to making these revisions, so. Without further ado, I'm just gonna just gonna get to that. There's a lot to do. So I finished editing. Um, or making corrections to my book. And um, my battery on my computer just did make it long enough <laughs> to finish 
um, before coming back inside. So right now, I'm just making a snack because I didn't actually eat breakfast. So this is like a mid-morning snack. And then I've got to um, <clears throat> write some emails to some local bookstores to talk about maybe doing some signings later this summer and stuff like that just to see, you know, are you hosting events again yet? That kind of thing. So gonna make my snack, gonna send those emails. Man, sometimes when I'm when I'm editing and I'm making corrections, I feel like, you know, I'm, I guess, a plotzer because, like, I don't actually outline, but I have a general idea of what's going to happen in the book. And so I'm not completely winging it, but then I kind of wing it. And so I feel like I go in there and I have, like, this solid game plan. You must stay on the path. Do not leave it. If you do, you'll never find it again. And then I'm editing and I'm just like, what, what happened? And my, my characters are just like. Stop! We can't leave the path. We must stay on the path. I don't remember this place. None of it's familiar. It's not to be. The car has just disappeared. <laughs> yeah, so um, comment below if you have similar issues. <laughs> Are you a plotter or a pantser? Um, so that's my question. If you're a writer, comment below and let me know. Do you, do you outline? Are you a plotter? Or do you just wing it and then whatever happens, happens, and you're just as surprised as the rest of us? Um, so <laughs> I feel like that's often the case with me. I'm like... I'm writing and I'm like, oh my God, what? Um, or like a character reveals something about their backstory. I'm like, I'm so sorry. I never knew that you'd been through that before. And I'm just like, it's coming out of your brain, but I'm still just like, just like surprised. Like, I don't feel like I come up with it. I feel like it's revealed to me almost. I don't know if that sounds weird to you, but yeah. So I'm gonna make my snack. I'm gonna send off those emails and um, yeah, so that's the next phase of the day. Uh, we have a release date for penance. I am so excited to finally be able to say that. You don't even know. <laughs> um, penance is going to be coming out on August 6th, 2021. This summer, August 6th, Penance will be finally available <laughs> for you guys to read. Um, however, if you want sneak peeks and you want bonus content, um, if you look in the description box below, you'll see a link to my Patreon page. The patrons will get the entire first chapter of Penance early. Um, so in addition to a whole bunch of other really cool things. So go and check that out um, for deleted scenes, bonus content, um, alternate endings, things like that. It's kind of fun. Um, so check out my Patreon page or Patreon page for my patrons um, because they get to know everything first. They get to know release dates first. They've already known the release date um, for a while now. Um, they get to see the cover first. So as soon as I have the cover, they'll get to see that first. Um, and then they get all the deleted scenes. They get all the extras. Um, they get to you know, play a part in the series in a very unique way. And so it's it's a really fun place for us to be able to connect um, and to be able to just hang out and talk about all things bookish. Uh, you can ask me specific questions about the series and I will answer them. I have Q and A's with my patrons, um, stuff like that. So just check it out if you're interested. Um, but yeah, Penance is coming out on August 6th. That's pretty cool.
so we're in the car. Um, we are going to do a round to all the local bookstores, making sure that everybody is stocked and see if anyone needs... Ignore the boxes in the back. Uh, I have to go to the recycling center. But it is not this day. Um, so yeah, I'm just running errands, um, but mostly going around to all the local bookstores, making sure that no one needs copies of Transgression. Um, if they do, stocking them up and kind of going ahead and putting out feelers, even though I just sent emails, just talking to a face and saying, you know, even with COVID, like, are you guys planning on doing events this summer? What are the chances? What does that look like? And all of that kinds of stuff. And just, you know, putting my face out there in front of them, letting them know I'm still alive. Um, that kind of thing. So yeah, I'm going to go uh, home, check on my cats, and uh, pick up my books. And then I'm just going to go around and do a lap of the Outer Banks, hitting up all the local bookstores and getting people stocked up on transgression. So here we go. Here we go. wrapped up at the bookstore in downtown Manio and figured I'd take a little break and a stroll in Festival Park, swing by Kara's Coffee, get some caffeine in my system to keep the trip going. So yeah, just taking a walk on the boardwalk. This is one of my favorite places in Manio. It's beautiful. It is absolutely amazing. Um, and today is like the most gorgeous day, so <laughs> we're going to take advantage.
Whatever. Okay, we are back in the car. Got a few more stops left still to make. Whew, it's getting warm. Um, I figured while we drive, since we're gonna be in the car for a pretty good portion of the day, um, I would talk a little bit about book editing. Um, so if you're a writer, um, editing is extremely important. I feel like it's one of the major things that sets self-published apart from traditionally published is traditionally published gets really high quality professional editing. And since that's expensive, most indie authors choose not to, or they just can't afford to, so it's not actually even an option. So that is understandable. And I get it. Um, and so I always encourage authors, you know, if you're only going to splurge on one or two things, the things that you should splurge on are high quality editing, really, really good editing, um, which can, you know, depending on the length of your book, because it's usually based on word count, that can be thousands of dollars. Um, and a high quality book cover. So, um, because obviously for people who are browsing in actual bookstores or even online, just looking through the recommended books on Amazon or, you know, whatever, um, your book cover is the first thing that's going to grab their attention or not. Um, so yeah, book cover and editing are crucial. They're so, so, so important. Um, but even though I recommend that to authors, personally, I can't afford it. So it's not actually an option for me. So, um, how do you, how do you do or approach book editing if you can't afford professional editors? And the answer to that is as many eyes as possible <laughs> and eyes that know what they're doing. Um, so I'm going to stop referring to people as eyeballs. Um, basically, anyone who has a degree in English, someone who used to be an English teacher or is an English teacher, um, if you have connections with anyone who's just like super good with grammar, um, you know, those are the people that you want to ask, not just like your best friend or your siblings or your mom. Like if they are just as bad with grammar and spelling as you are, that's not gonna help you out. You're gonna wind up looking like one of those incredibly self-published books. Um, so I personally, with my first book, I had a friend of mine read it. I had my sister read it. I had, um, my friend's mom read it. <laughs> um, and I think my friend Joe also read it. Um, and so I had like four different people look at it and there were still errors. There were still typos. And so, you know, you really can't, if you're going the free route, you can't ask enough people because especially, um, you're editing basically almost doesn't make a difference because you know what you meant to write and your brain is just going to fill in the gaps with what you meant to say rather than what's actually there. And um, there's a lot of things that spell check's not going to count or catch because it is a word. It's just not the right word. Um, Grammarly is great. Download that on your computer. That's helpful. Um, but yeah, just basically anyone you know that is in some way qualified, in some way, you know, it makes sense for them to edit your book. Um, this round, um, I did several read-throughs before I ever asked anyone else to look at it. Um, and then I had uh, my friend's mom read it again. So she is um, on her second book editing of mine. And then my friend. And um, then 
somebody referred me to a former English teacher. And so I sent her a free copy of my first book, but then she bought it anyways. <laughs> so that was nice of her to support me. She turned into a huge fan. Um, so that was awesome. So that was a great introduction. And uh, she does not even live in my area, um, but she's amazing. And um, so I sent her um, the manuscript for book two today. So that was one of the emails that I sent this morning um, while I was emailing bookstores and everything because I finished all the corrections from the first editor. I um, went ahead and sent her the updated manuscript for her to edit and then I will finish making all the corrections from the third editor and everybody, all of the things, um, and then my manuscript will be finished. Um, as finished as it's going to be and I recognize there are still going to be typos there are still going to be issues it's not going to be perfect and that's fine I just want it to be as polished as it can be I read traditionally published books that have massive errors in them so even professional editors are going to miss things we're human that's what happens that's just the nature of things um so yeah it is what it is um and but that's my highest or that's my recommendation is if you're going to splurge on two things the cover and editing um, if you're only going to splurge on one thing, the cover, because the cover really cannot be sacrificed. Editing, um, you know, you can make up for that with, uh, quantity over quality. <laughs> if you can't hire one professional editor, get a whole ton of people to look over it. Um, but yeah, so... But the cover, though, if you're not a professional graphic designer, do not do your book cover yourself. Um, pay a professional because they know, first of all, the psychology behind, you know, colors and marketing strategies and stuff like that. Like, they literally know, like, what people think when they look at things. Um, and it's a fresh perspective on your book as well. Um, somebody other than you. And so it's just... It's just really good if you don't know like personally I know someone um, so I've known my illustrator since we were kids um, he is a professional though he does graphic design for a living that's what he does so it makes sense to use that connection um, if you don't know somebody um, there are several resources that are affordable um, to hire professionals to do it um, I've hired a lot of projects and people on Fiverr for, uh, branding, um, stuff, book, book, uh, trailer videos, things like that. So check out Fiverr, um, you know, and there's probably a lot of other options out there too, but make sure somebody who's really good at that stuff does that for you. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to talk about that really quick because that's important. If you're self-publishing, the goal is to not look self-published. The goal is for people to, when they pick up your book and they read through it, they flip through it, they feel it. The goal is that they don't know the difference. Um, so that's my soapbox. That's my spiel. Now we're heading to the next bookstore. Uh, that was Downtown Books in Manio. Hit it up if you're in the area. Um, Jamie is awesome. She runs the place and it's a really cool little shop, so you should definitely check it out if you're in Manteo. Manteo, Manteo, Manio. Us locals call it Manio, <laughs> not Manteo. That was that was the name of the guy, um, but the town is pronounced Manio. <laughs> also, it's Corolla, not Corolla. Uh, just because I I just needed to to set that record straight if you're visiting. If you're visiting the Outer Banks, it is Kerala. It's also Croatan Highway, not Croatan Highway or Croatian Highway. Um, Croatan, no, it's Croatan. Yeah, I know there's a lot of weird names around here. People never know how to pronounce things, but let that be your helpful hint for the day. <laughs> um, so yeah, onward to more things. Woo! -hoo!
Okay, so finished up all the stops. I figured this vlog is getting long enough. <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be an, a beast to edit. Um, so didn't didn't do all the bookstores like I was planning to, but um, yeah. So finished making my stops, and um, now I'm gonna head back to the house. Um, I think I'm gonna do some formatting on um, transgression to get it back um, in print with a new edition, um, having the first chapter of book two at the end, as well as maybe some bonus content. I don't know what I'm gonna throw in there yet. Back home and at it again. Um, one of the bookstores is being purchased, so it's between ownership right now, so I'm gonna email the new book owner, bookstore owner, um, and introduce myself, that kinds of stuff. Um, while I sit here and snack. Today has not been a good example of how I actually eat. I swear I eat. Um, I had that little snack this morning and the iced coffee from Nanio, and that's pretty much all I've had today. So snacking on this, but then um, after I shoot off these emails, I'm going to eat some real food, maybe make a sandwich. And then I'm going to um, work on the interior file formatting for a transgression because I'm going to be switching to a new distributor, new printers, all of that kinds of stuff. That's the plan for this afternoon. It's currently 3, 3.03 um, and I've been going since 7.30 or 8 o'clock this morning. So it's been a good long day already. Um, but I still have a lot left to give. I, I, I wasn't kidding. When I said I'm a workaholic, like I'm probably going to go until transgression is completely formatted and ready to go. Who knows? If I get it to that point, I might just go ahead and put it on Ingram and tackle the whole book distribution thing tonight too. We'll see what happens. We might get crazy. Um, so yeah, for real legit workaholic, but I mean, I've been going at a pretty slow pace today, so it's been relaxing. It hasn't been stressful. I took a break. I took the walk in downtown Manio. I worked outside. I've enjoyed the weather. I have talked to people. So yeah, I feel like it's it's been a balanced day. So I'm I'm getting in a lot of work hours, but I'm also enjoying myself and relaxing and being present in the moment. So it's good good balanced day, I think. Okay, so I feel like I started out good and then the second half of this vlog has just been a hot mess. But it just took the wind out of my sails and completely just knocked me for a whirlwind. I got the email that my book signing for tomorrow was canceled. Um, so editing this is going to be a ton of fun. <laughs> just not even going to know what to leave in here. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to unwind, introvert, recharge my batteries, um, find my brain. And yeah, so I'm just going to chill for the rest of the night. I just need to decompress yeah that's what needs to happen so I'm gonna do that um so yeah I'm just gonna try to unwind decompress edit this video <laughs> that's gonna be fun um and I will see you guys next Tuesday in another video um it's gonna be another vlog I'm excited I am headed down to Savannah to visit family I'm gonna see my mom and my sister down there and then Friday, we're going to be taking a trip to, let me see if I can get it right. <laughs> I've said it wrong so many times. Universal Studios, Islands of Adventure, The Wizarding World of Harry Potter. That is a mouthful. Um, but yeah, it should be a really good time. Um, a fun vlog, with the exception of hitting up the park on Friday and um, driving down there and driving back. I am still going to be working all week. It's not vacation. Um... <laughs> So, yeah, I'm going to be working from yet another house. One of these days, I swear you will see me in my house. I do have a house. 
I am not homeless. Um, but yeah, I have no clue when that's going to happen. <laughs> someday, someday. So another video, another house. This is just going to become a thing, I think. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys next Tuesday. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and you hit that little bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. See you guys next Tuesday.